Marcus Ambrose, who we know is going to be very good at the road course, was in one of the earlier groups. That meant better light, that meant less pooling of water on the track, and that meant a very good time for Marcos. He went out early, he set the standard, and no one was able to touch him by day's end. But as for Patrick Carpentier, who had a pole opportunity and a very fast race car earlier, look at the conditions. He couldn't see where he was going, the windshield was fogged up, he had to pull in early, and he has a very bad starting spot because of that. Now, we mentioned that Marcus Ambrose is the fastest qualifier. He will start first today, and he stands by with Jamie Little. And he has had a fast race car the last two years here. You led the most laps both races, but an incident put you out. You haven't gotten the win yet here. What do you think about your performance today with this car? Well, we're just trying to finish the story. You know, uh, we've given away two wins here, and we're trying to get one back. And if we can win up here, it feels like a job well done because we've come so close in the last two years. But we've got Amaral on the car this year. We're really excited about it. I'm wearing my lucky shoes. And I've got my uh, French Canadian crew chief, Francois Lecoeur. All right, I want to ask you, you've got the shoes. You see he has some modifications, taped them up. But these were the shoes he was wearing when he won at Watkins Glen. How about this car, though? It's not the car you won with at Watkins Glen. No, it's not the same car. I, I crashed that one during my victory burnout. So we've got a brand new piece here. We've never shaken it down in dry conditions. Uh, we've got a brand new setup that we didn't run here last year. So a bit of a question mark, but we're confident that it's good for us. And uh, we feel like we've got as good a chance to win the race as anybody else. All right, he's on the pole for the second time in his Nationwide Series career. Dave? Oh, Jamie, he is going to be fun to watch today. And even though he's starting from the first position, I think he's going to have some challengers, but he's going to be one of the guys to beat. Now,